Well, well, well. Look what we have here. Careful, don't choke on your drink. I didn't mean to startle you. Or did I? I came over here to ask, who invited you to this party? You invited yourself? Were you eavesdropping on my conversations at school? How sneaky of you. So you came to this party, my party, uninvited, dressed up and without your glasses, thinking that no one would notice you. Well, you were wrong. I noticed you. How did I figure out it was you? You forget that I sit directly behind you in English. You are always answering questions in that class. I know exactly how you sound when you talk. It sounds like a little tweet. Much like a bird. So your whole idea to mask yourself as someone else at this party has failed miserably, little bird. What? Do you not like the pet name I gave you? Well, too bad. I like it, so it's staying. Now I have to decide if I should tell my friend of your little act. Expose you for pretending to be something you're not. Popular. Tell me one good reason why I shouldn't. You'll do my homework. <laughs> no, I already have someone for that. How about you do whatever I say for the rest of the night? In this case, we would both win. I would have some fun controlling you. And you would finally feel what it's like to be one of the popular kids. Just for the night. Do we have a deal? Good. I'm pleased to hear that. First things first, take this beer and chug it. Yes, that's right. Look, do you want me to expose you? Do you want to know what it's like to be a popular kid that goes to parties? Okay, then drink. Ah, oh, that's good. That's a good little bird. How was that? Bitter? Well, the more you drink it, the better it tastes. So now grab another cup, but just sip at it. I don't want you drunk. Just a little buzzed. Come on, we're going to miss the start of the game. Don't worry about this game, just drink. Hey, you got room in the game for two more? Nice. Sit down and take a few more sips. You will need it. It will calm your nerves. How can I tell? You are shaking. Normally I would enjoy watching your fear showing. Right now, it's annoying me. Now, shall we start this game of truth or dare? I'll start things off. Charles. Truth or dare? <laughs> okay, okay. How are you feeling, little bird? You have that warm feeling in your chest yet? Good. That should mean that your nerves have settled. Not to make your nerves reappear, but I think Liz has figured out who you really are. I am most confident that she's going to try to embarrass you. 
Do not worry, you are mine alone to tease. Whatever it is, choose dare. Just trust me, just for tonight. Liz, I, b I believe it's your turn. Oh, you, you choose Little Bird. Finish your beer, then tell her your answer. Dare? Well, this should be interesting. Liz, you dared Little Bird to play seven minutes in heaven? Nice choice. You want her to play with who? No, 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 no. That That isn't a good pick. Seeing that I'm the only single guy playing this game, I'll volunteer myself. Come now, little bird. Let us hide in the dark closet and begin this game. Take my hand, I'll lead the way. I know, I know, my mother raised me with manners. It is programmed in my brain to open doors for women. Now get in before I lose my patience. Good girl. The game starts when the door closes. We have to stay in the closet for a total time of seven minutes. Within those minutes, if something happens between us, then it stays here, between us. Let the game begin. Tell me, little bird, are you afraid of the dark? You're afraid of me? Why? Besides my teasing, have I ever hurt you? No, when there is nothing to fear. You'd better watch your tone before I really make you fear me. Now you've done it. Mm hmm. I guess that kiss was decent enough. Why, what did you slap me for? That was your first kiss. Well, hell, no wonder that kiss was awkward. It's okay, little bird. You're in the presence of a make-out master. Would you like me to teach you properly? According to my watch, we now have five minutes for me to teach you the rope. What say you? Would you like to learn some proper technique? Good choice. First things first, take a deep breath and calm yourself. Good. Now part your lips slightly. If we're not in a dark closet, I would tell you to look at the other person's lips so that they know your intentions. Second, tilt your head slightly to one side, lean in and kiss a part of my face that is not my lips. This will make your intentions clear and also tease them in the process. They're just like that little bird, right beside my lips. Impressive strategy. There, just like that little bird. Right beside my lips. Impressive strategy. Now for the third step, you have two choices. You can ask them verbally. You do this by asking them directly to kiss you, or by saying, I would like to kiss you. And the second option is by leaning in and going for it, 
they will either respond by leaning in as well or pulling back. Give it a try. Oh, straight for the lean. That bear made you fearless. The last step is the actual kiss. You want to start off slow and just go with whichever way the kiss takes you. Show me what I taught you. I believe in you, little bird. Hmm. Just like that. Much better. Kiss me a little deeper. Mmm. 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 It tastes so good. Do you like the feeling of my lips and yours? Mmm. The way I hold your body against mine. So you can feel every solid inch of me. Wow. Oh, my alarm's going off. Ignore it. I said ignore it. Right now you are mine. And I'm not done with you. I don't care if they catch us. I'm enjoying myself too much to care. Oh, piss off, Charles. I did not tell you to open the door yet. The neighbours called the cops on us. Fine. Little bird, it's time to leave. We will be in touch. And before you try to run off and hide from me, just know that you belong to me now. Have a good night.